everyone, I'm Kara, and we're back with another exclusive house tour. Today, we're taking a peek inside the life of legendary entrepreneur Sir Richard Branson, who even has a luxury island paradise in the Virgin Islands, and it's nicer than you could imagine. If you want to see more of what I've been up to in my free time, check out my new DIY account, Fix It With Kara. I would love to connect with you all on there. So who is Richard Branson? Well, he is the founder of The Virgin Group, one of the world's most recognized brands. Virgin has its wings spread across many sectors like travel, telecoms, health, music, and more. Branson got his start as a young rebellious entrepreneur in the 1970s when he launched a mail order record business that eventually grew into the renowned Virgin Records music label. After Virgin signed Mike Oldfield, who released the hit album Tubular Bells, the label went on to sign big artists like the Sex Pistols to bands like the Rolling Stones. Now there are over 40 Virgin companies worldwide in more than 35 countries, and Branson's empire just keeps growing. He's even got Virgin Galactic, which is working on commercial space flights. How cool is that? Branson is known for his adventurous spirit and he's made record-breaking attempts at hot air balloon fights across the globe. Since starting his first business as a teen, Branson has always found ways to drive positive change in the world. 2004, he established Virgin Unite, which supports entrepreneurship and sustainability. He also supports organizations like the Elders, the B Team, and Oceans Unite. Now, Richard Branson wasn't always the billionaire big shot we knew today. His story had humble beginnings. Richard Branson was born in 1950 in Blackheath, London. Young Branson struggled with dyslexia and had a hard time in school with things like reading and math. He actually left high school at only 16. But what Branson lacked in academics, he made up for with his amazing people skills. He could connect heart to heart with anyone. This skill laid the foundation for future success. After getting fed up with how he was treated at school, 15-year-old Branson launched a student magazine called Student with his friend Johnny Gems. Student was a big hit. They got super impressive people to write for it, like members of parliament, rock stars, and actors. Branson's headmaster even told him, I predict you will either go to prison or become a millionaire. Branson always saw opportunities, and his business instincts led him to create one of the world's most recognized brands. In 1970, the UK government lifted a restriction on the price of records, but big music stores refused to lower prices. Branson swooped in and started a mail order business selling discount music. It exploded in popularity. This mail order success was the spark that lit the fire for Virgin Records. The name Virgin was suggested by one of Branson's team members since they were all new to business. By 1979, his net worth grew to 5 million pounds. In 1980, Virgin Records went international and the rest is history. All right guys, next up we're taking a look at Richard Branson's luxury private paradise, Necker Island. Nestled in the beautiful British Virgin Islands, Necker Island spans 74 acres and is surrounded by stunning turquoise waters and coral reefs. Branson calls Necker his home and favorite hideaway. He invites guests to come explore this island utopia and be inspired by its beauty. Necker Island is one of the most exclusive private islands in the world, but it's not just for billionaires. You could actually book a stay starting at five grand a night. Rates for holiday weeks in November, December, and Christmas include all meals, drinks, activities, and more. There are only 24 rooms available to book. Necker Island general manager James Bassett and says guests can discover their own private slice of paradise. There's a casual luxury experience you won't find anywhere else. The island has been Richard Branson's personal paradise for decades. He bought Necker Island in 1976 for around $120,000 on one condition, that he would build a resort within four years. After three years and around $10 million later, Necker opened its doors. Necker has hosted celebs like Princess Diana and her young sons, the Obamas, and even Mariah Carey. But usually Richard reserves stays over the holidays for friends and family or rents out the entire island for over for $100,000 a night. If you visit Necker Island, Richard himself can welcome you, but there is no certainty that he will be there all the time. But even if Richard's away, you will still be given an unbelievable VIP experience. The island was recently rebuilt after being devastated by Hurricane Irma, but all buildings, pools, beaches, and nature have been restored beautifully. There's lots to do on the island, like snorkeling, yoga, tennis, and more. The island has gone even greener after the rebuild with solar panels, wind turbines, and eco-friendly practices. Guests can interact with wildlife like lemurs, flamingos, and endangered tortoises that are cared for as part of Necker's conservation efforts. The rare chance to visit Necker Island is a bucket list travel experience. 
From the landscape to amenities to super attentive staff, you'll get an escape that money truly can't buy anywhere else. Aside from his stunning island, Branson stays active in political and humanitarian initiatives. Back in the 90s, he discussed the elders group with Nelson Mandela and Peter Gabriel to address global conflicts. It launched in 2007. He's also been involved in climate change solutions like the Carbon War Room and supports young entrepreneurs through Virgin Startup. Branson advocates for issues like drug decriminalization, human rights, diversity, and economic equality. Branson also has a strong commitment to environmentalism. He pledged to invest $3 billion over 10 years to fight climate change through the Virgin Earth Challenge. He also co-founded the B-Team, a nonprofit organization of business leaders that promotes sustainable practices. Even Necker Island emphasizes conservation and sustainability. Branson believes businesses have a responsibility to make a positive impact. For over 50 years and across sectors, Richard Branson has made a name for himself by charting his own unique course and turning conventional business wisdom on its head. He's inspired people everywhere to dream big, live life to the fullest, and drive positive change. There's no doubt Branson has cemented his legacy as a one-of-a-kind billionaire rebel. All right, guys, that wraps up this house tour or should I say island tour of Richard Branson? But before you go, answer this question for me. If you had the chance to visit Necker Island, what would be the first thing that you would do there? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.